going on everyone? Thanks for joining me in Matt's Lock Pit. So today's video is going to be slightly different than normal. I'm going to show you how to make this cool as fuck material here. This is called HDPE, which stands for High Density Polyethylene. And the cool thing about this, not only does it look cool, I made this from stuff from just my recycling bin. So it's environmentally friendly, which is pretty fucking cool. And as I said, it looks awesome. You can use this for many things, but of course, I'm going to be using it for Custom motherfucking lock picks. So this funky looking pick right here, this is probably the world's first HDPE handle pick. Pretty fucking cool. And as I said, we've made this totally from our recycling bin, this handle. So it's keeping the plastic out of the ocean, saving the motherfucking turtles. What more could you want? So stay tuned, I'll show you how to make it. So stage number one, we need to be rummaging through our recycling bin. As you can see, I've got milk bottles, bottle tops, all sorts of shit like that. You can't just use anything though, guys. You need to be looking for plastics that have this symbol right here on. HDPE with the recycling symbol and the little two in the middle. So this symbol shows it's going to be safe. We're not going to be making some sort of weird plastic alloy that's going to be creating toxic fumes. So we need to stay safe. So make sure you've got that symbol on it, guys. So once we've got it, what we need to do, wash it all thoroughly. And then we need to cut it up into little pieces. So you do have the option of using a pair of scissors or a set of shears or something like that, but you could take the fun option and use your missus's blender. So at this stage, it might be wise to give her your bank card, tell her to fuck off and go out shopping because we're going to make some noise. So fuck yeah, at that point I realised I need to keep my hands on top of this motherfucker. But as you can see, it is blending up nice, it's doing a real nice job. What I'm going to do is blend this all up tiny and then bagging it into bags, sort of colour code it so I know where I am with everything. Once we've got it all cut up, what we're going to have to do next is do a little bit of woodwork. So now we're going to need to make a little mould to shape this plastic. So what I'm going to do, cut three pieces around five and a half inches and I'm going to cut two pieces around three and a half inches. So this is literally just scraps of wood I've had lying around. It's not going to be pretty, but it should be functional. So now we've smoothed it all off, we're going to make this sort of shape here. And what we're going to need to do is screw this all together. So simply screw it all together. Then once it's together and we can see that the lid fits through it nicely, what we need to do is cut a base to add a base to this. So there we go, mark it out. What we're going to do is screw the base on here just in case we need to take it back off later to get the plastic out of the mould. So there we go, not pretty, but it's going to be functional. Well, I hope it is anyway. So seeing as we've used Mrs Blender, why not use her George Foreman? So what we're going to do, we're going to get some greaseproof paper, we're going to line the George Foreman. As you can see, I've marked out with a pen just the shape of our mould, just for future reference. I've also put greaseproof paper in the mould. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add some of this grinded up HDPE. I'm just going to chuck it in roughly the sort of the size of the mould. I'm playing it by here for now. We're going to heat it up. This stuff doesn't actually melt fully. It doesn't flow, but it does get soft. So what we're going to do, just add a little bit extra at a time. Just build it up. Feel how it feels. So as you can see, I have got a glove on there, guys. This stuff does get motherfucking hot. So beware of your hands. So keep checking it. Keep prodding it. Mix it all together. See how it feels getting quite sticky now so what I think we're going to do grab it out twist it up fold it up get it all mashed up together get these colors to mix and also get out any sort of air bubbles make sure it's all a nice temperature pretty fucking cool so squish it up I'm going to fold it in half as well squish it and now what we're going to do we're going to get it back in the George Foreman and we're going to heat it back up look at the fucking colors on this already guys this is going to look fucking awesome So once again, what we're doing, heating it up, checking it, feeling it, adding more if we need to. Just play it by here, see what you think's best, guys. So it's starting to get nice and soft now, guys. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to get this all squished up again, get ready to get it in the mould. So there we go. So I've got some good twisting action in there, really got the colours to mix in nicely. Ooh, that's looking nice. Look at that, guys. Soft as fuck. Really cool. So now I've got it to roughly the size of my mould. I'm going to try and get this in. I hope it's going to go smoothly. This is the first time I've ever done this. Like a glove. So now what we're going to need to do, fold the greaseproof paper over. So we've got no wood touching it. Now we're going to stick our wooden lid in. 
So now what we need to do, we need to compress the fuck out of this. So we're going to get it in the vise, get it real nice and tight. There we go, clamped up, I can feel it going in. Nice. So this is probably going to take an hour, maybe an hour and a half to cool down fully. What we need to do for the first half hour, 40 minutes, is come back every 5-10 minutes and tighten it up. Because this stuff does shrink as it sets, guys. So make sure you keep it nice and tight. So it's been about 90 minutes. I'm desperate to see what this has turned out like. So let's get into it. So let's see if we can get this motherfucker out first. There we go, pried it out. I can see it, looks fucking awesome. There we go, so those screws that we put in earlier, looks like we are going to have to take those out. Not a problem though, as you can see. So let's get all four of these screws out, see what's going on. So, moment of truth guys, has it worked? Of course it's worked, you've seen it, we all knew it was going to work. But check that out, cool as fuck. So I carried on making it after I've done this, tried a few different patterns of... Uh, Different colours, different twists, different folds to see if I could get different effects. And this is what I came up with. Check out the colour on this bad boy. That is cool as a motherfucking cucumber. Check that out. The next one's pretty cool as well. Let's have a look at that. So once again, as I said, exactly the same method. Heated exactly the same. Everything done the same. Just using different colours and different twists, different folds. And as you can see, they're coming out pretty fucking cool. So I'm well happy with that. Meet me back in the lockpit. We'll have a little chat. So yeah, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm happy as fuck with the results we've had here. Look at that. All of these are cool as fuck. Pretty fucking cool. We've made these just from our recycling. The picks work to treat as well. Good strong pick. Some people do say that HDPE does have a low adhesion rate, so it's probably better suited to partial tang picks rather than full tang picks. But look at the colour on this one. I'm definitely going to be using this for my next picks. As I said, try and stick to partial tang picks rather than full tang picks. And it's definitely going to be strong enough. As you can see, it looks cool as fuck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some images on the screen now, guys. Just so you can see what it's like when it's cut. But thanks for watching. Please like. Please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope some of you try it. See you soon. Bye.